welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be going through some methods that will dramatically help improve your frames per second in Call of Duty Warzone. The very first thing you need to do is make sure your Windows 10 is completely up to date. To check this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and simply type in update. You now need to click on check for updates and you now need to click on check for updates or if you do have an option like I do at the moment to download a new update then you need to go ahead and download and install that latest update. Just remember before doing any of the things in this video, I would recommend that you create a system restore point just in case anything was to go wrong and make sure you have everything backed up. Once you have finished updating your Windows 10 PC or laptop, go ahead and launch Warzone and see if that has helped increase your frames per second in game. If you're still struggling with lag, um, frame drop and all that sort of stuff then don't panic because the next thing we want to do is make sure we have the latest graphics card drivers installed. This is very important because if you have out of date graphics card drivers then you will encounter some problems like frame drop. I will put the links in the description below for AMD drivers and the Nvidia drivers site. As you can see, I am currently on the AMD site at the moment. You need to select graphics and then you need to select your graphics card. You then need to select your graphics card again and then go submit. You will then get the option to choose Windows 10 64-bit if that's what you got. If you don't have 64-bit, then you need to download the 32-bit version of the driver. You can then go ahead and press download and then just follow the setup. The same goes with Nvidia. If you click on the Nvidia link, you will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to select your Nvidia graphics card and then go ahead and press search. It will then find the latest graphics card driver for you. You now need to just download that driver and install the latest driver. Once you have finished updating your graphics card drivers, go ahead and restart your PC and then launch Warzone and see if that has helped fix your frame per second problem. If that hasn't helped, then like I said before, don't panic just yet because there's still a few more things we can do. And the next thing to do if you're running Nvidia, we now need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and we now need to search Nvidia. You now need to open up the GeForce Experience. You will then end up with a window that looks like this. We now need to find Call of Duty and as you can see it's right here. You now need to press details. You will then see your current in-game video settings. And as you can see, it says I'm using optimal settings. And that is correct. My PC does run pretty well on these settings. I get quite a high frames per second. But you can actually click on this little spanner icon. And you can then choose your performance. We could go all the way to the top to quality. Or we can change it all the way down to performance. We can also change our resolution or what display mode we want. I would recommend you just use the optimal option and then go ahead and launch the game by pressing play and see if that has helped. Don't worry, I will go through the settings in game for all you AMD graphics card users as well. And if this doesn't work for you Nvidia graphics card users, then also the settings near the end of this video that I'll go through, it may pay for you to do that as well. If you're still struggling with frames per second problems, don't worry, because the next thing you need to do is click on the other link that's in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this, and this is Razer Cortex. This is an absolutely fantastic program that really will help boost that frames per second in game. You now need to click on download in the top right hand corner here. And you then need to make sure you save the file. As you can see, I'm in Chrome now and it's automatically downloaded. We now need to run the setup file. And you now need to make sure Razer Cortex is selected and hit install. You can also change the install location if you want to. 
Once Razer Cortex has finished installing, we can now go ahead and launch Razer Cortex and click Get Started. And you now need to sign into your Razer account if you already have one. If not, you can go ahead and press continue as guest or sign up for one. I'm just going to go ahead and carry on as a guest. And you now need to click continue as guest again. And as you can see, it's now finding all my games, which is fantastic. That means it's working absolutely fine. You now need to scroll down until you find Call of Duty and there it is. We now need to click on View Dashboard for Call of Duty. And you will then end up with a screen that looks like this. And basically we can see a lot of detail in this screen which is fantastic. As you can see it says here start generating your FPS chart by playing this game. We can go ahead and launch the game and then it will tell us our average, our minimum and our maximum frame rate in game. And over in the left hand corner here it will tell us a few more details about our CPU and memory and current resolution. Which is good. That's what we want to see because we want to increase that frames per second. But before we launch the game we want to click on boost. And you now need to go through a few of these settings and just tick what you would like to enable or disable. As you can see here we don't have Explorer selected which would close down Explorer giving us more memory for the game which is what we want. We can also launch the game in Game Desktop and I have actually done this before on other games on a older PC and I did find that helped a lot as well. If we go across to processes, you can go through a load of the processes and just make sure they are closed when we launch the game. But just be careful what you select because say you have something in Google Chrome open, then you will lose that because it will automatically close that. But that is also another thing I wanted to say. When you are playing Call of Duty, make sure you don't have any background programs open. For example, iTunes, Chrome, anything like that, Spotify, close it all down, Discord, TeamSpeak, and then see how your game runs. And if you do see an improvement in the frames per second, which you should do by closing down those programs, then you will obviously know that those programs are causing you issues. If we go across now to services, we can select which services we want to close. And as you can see, it's defaultly selected services that aren't really necessary when we're playing a game. If we then go across to non-Windows services, we can then select a few there if you want them closed. For example, Origin, I don't need that running when I'm in Call of Duty. You can then go ahead and press boost now, or it will automatically boost when we launch our game from the My Library that I just showed you. Give Call of Duty Warzone a go now with the Game Booster by either selecting Boost Now or just go across to My Library and then select Call of Duty and press Play. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner now, it's releasing memory for me and about to launch the game. If you're still having problems with Call of Duty, then the next thing you need to do is go back onto Windows and we now need to type in the bottom left hand corner defrag. You now need to open up defragment and optimize drives and we now need to optimize our drives. Just go through each drive and press optimize. Just keep in mind it could take a while depending on how big your drive is. The next thing I'm going to go through and the final thing now is opening up Call of Duty and we are going to go through a few of the settings that I would recommend turning off and then seeing if that helps improve your frames per second. As you can see I'm now in Call of Duty. We now need to click on options or press F3 on your keyboard and we then need to click on graphics. We now need to change the first option which is our display mode. You need to change this to full screen borderless and once you have changed this you can now go ahead and launch the game and see if that helps improve your frames per second. If that hasn't helped then the next thing we need to do is change our resolution but to be able to change this we need to change our display mode to full screen. We now need to click on advanced. And as you can see, my resolution is currently set to 1920 by 1080. Basically, the lower the number, the better frames per second you will get. If I scroll down a bit, I would personally change mine 
to 1600 by 900 and then launch the game to see if that has helped with my frames per second. Once you have tried changing the resolution, see if that has helped. Also, I would like to add in the top left hand corner, you will see I have a display for my FPS. To turn this on, all you need to do is click on general. I'm just going to discard my settings and you then need to scroll all the way down until we find frames per second counter and you need to turn this to enabled. Once you have done that, you will then see what frames per second you are getting in game. We now need to head back on over to graphics and we now need to scroll down a little bit more. You now need to turn off your Nvidia highlights and then let's see if that has helped. Also, I would like to just say, click on restart shaders installation every time you make any changes to your graphic settings, as this will reinstall all the shaders from the beginning. We now need to scroll down a little bit more and you will then have details and textures. But before we make any changes to these settings, because we, we want our game to still look pretty, we're going to go down to shadow and lighting. And you now basically want to go through and turn all these options to low or disabled. Because that will definitely have a massive improvement on your frames per second. With the cache spot shadows and the cache sun, if yours is set to disabled, then try and turn them to enabled. As it will then store the cache for the shadows, which can also help improve performance. Or if you have it on enabled, turn it to disabled and see if that helps. Because it does require a bit more memory having it enabled. If we scroll down a bit more, you want to turn these options to disabled as well. And we also want to change our anti-aliasing to one times or you want to turn this off as this has a traumatic effect on your FPS as well. The higher this option is, then the less frames per second you will get. If we scroll down a little bit more, I always turn off the motion blur on the world and the weapon as I don't like it and also it does have a slight impact on your frames per second as well. If we now scroll back up and you are still having problems after trying out the game, changing those settings, then the next settings you need to change are the details and textures. And basically, if you have it set to high, then change it to normal. If you look in the top right hand corner here, we have our VRAM usage. And you want to basically have this bar about halfway. If I change this to high, as you can see, that has a massive effect on my VRAM usage and that will cause me a lot of problems. We want to turn that to normal and that is roughly where I like the bar. I will have perfect frames per second with the bar in that position. Once you have changed a few of these settings and toned them down a little bit, launch the game and see if that has helped. If you are still struggling with frames per second, then unfortunately the only other options you have is upgrading hardware on your PC. The first thing you could try is putting the game on a SSD drive which could help and improve frames per second but it's very unlikely that will probably help more with lag and loading times on the game. The other thing you could do is put more memory into your PC, more RAM, that would definitely help and if you can't do any of those options, then the only other thing, unfortunately, is changing your processor, motherboard and everything, and that can get quite costly. And that is it for this video. I hope this tutorial did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forums.